Hello and welcome to a, another speed build on my channel. This time it's a two-parter if you haven't already seen that in the title. That is purely because of the sheer amount of footage I had, about eight and a half hours to go through in total, and even then that was with some of the footage not actually recording because my game bar decided to be selective when my laptop needed updating. So here we are, you can see clearly there's two different two different sections of the house. And the larger of the two, kind of want to say the larger of the two, purely because of the tower that we see taking shape where this curved railing is going. Very gorgeous with the new staircases. I say new, the update has been live since like the beginning of the month, so here they are going in. Nice and grand, configurable staircase for an entrance hall. So this is the main live. This will be the main living quarters of this build. It was. I saw a challenge on Twitter, I believe, and it was like Realm of Magic inspired. Like up and like before the pack was released, and I decided to go for the astrology route in terms of specialism. So I wanted to have the option of living quarters with possible the kind of more sciencey side of things in an extension area which is where that corridor goes to. This is the more traditional chunk at the moment. We're doing the tower. Oh my gosh, this freeze was really annoying to try and do actually once I got onto the like staircase area because of the way I did the entrance hall. I had to put the stairs in the second floor area and I ended up not doing that same freeze around the edge that we can see currently going. I really wanted to utilise the vampires actually and oh my gosh I had so much different so many different clips to go through because I originally started this one afternoon before me and my housemates would you to go out and do something. I can't quite remember what that was now because it was such a long time. I say it's such a long time, it's not really been that long, but it feels like that long. So yes, I say housemates because I have now moved into the shared accommodation for my second year of uni. Woo! Um, my goodness, uploading this is going to be fun with how our Wi-Fi has been a bit on and off, touch and go with the connection strength. Like at the moment my laptop is saying it's one bar and the spot, the little round dot in the corner, which is actually pretty good considering I have my door closed. Well, not closed, but closed in a way. I can't close it fully because of the door handle, but this isn't a story time video at the moment anyway. But I really wanted to use the vamp these vampires windows, my goodness. This tower actually takes inspiration from the more, I want to say the more traditional side, because it was kind of the idea of traditional and modern fusion. The inspiration was perfect for that, actually. And it's the Natural History Museum in London, where I got the idea from the for this tower for, from. And then this bit, the wallpaper completely changes because I'm like, it's that's the uh, Tudory section, utilizing get together. Of course, the modern extension is where all of like 
the science magic happens. So we've got the uh, crystals, I wanted to use so all of the different elements and metals in collections. I don't use all of them, but I do display quite a few. We use the configurable staircases yet again, and that nice industrial, the nice industrial railing comes in. There's that beautiful staircase. Where have these been in all of the history of this game? They are so useful. The, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much fun I had using those staircases. They are just so fun to work with, especially this industrial one that you can see on the uh, side of my screen. And now we're back into this bit, the hallway area. But because it's metal, it's grated metal, it's like a lattice and it's like see-through, unlike the actual metal flooring tiles that are currently in the game as well. Like, you can see through them completely without custom content being needed. Which, speaking of custom content, I did use some. Like, you can probably tell that those windows aren't the original height in the this entrance hall. They are add-ons. Actually, they are. They are add-ons. And I believe I also use some other add-ons as well. Oh yeah, the city living window. The industrial kind of gridded window that was like the two-tile version. I think that's the only one I use. Oh, and the two-tile door, actually. The two-tile door, city living add-ons, and then the vampires add-ons. Both made by Peacemaker, and I will both be linking both sets in the description of each part. So they'll be in this part, just part one, where we focus on the more traditional side of the building up until we get to the top floor. The bathroom is the last bit we furnish. It's a bathroom, it's more on, it's the ensuite. I've done this so it's quite a private home, so it wouldn't really have like a separate toilet downstairs, maybe. Although it would be pretty easy to put one in down the end of this corridor area, the hallway, to the left of the screen. But it's quite a secluded home. I believe I chose the private dwelling lot tray actually as well, so that helps. I can't quite remember that, I'll have to go I'll have to double check when I go into my game to take the screenshots actually because that is yet to be done. However, the screenshots will be in part two, so we don't need to worry about that just yet. This corner, oh my gosh, I was struggling so much with placement of walls in this entrance hall because it's double story. And especially the top part where it's not quite considered a room for some reason. And, yeah, we see me layering some rugs, actually, as well. I was going to go for that one, but then the other one spoke to me a bit more. With the, there we go, that one, because it's like a more sort of dark red with a bit more of a two-tone go, a bit more noticeable two-tone going on with the border. And... This is where we're looking through this different sculptures. I wanted Romantic Garden to be included because that fits the theme so well. This, I was going to use the female one as well in the garden, which you'll see in part two. But it didn't quite fit in the fountain for some reason. It didn't quite look right, so I just went for the actual fountain extension. But the knight is up there, the knight's armour. Round rug again, candles. Of course, we're going for the ambiance. Here, those vampires tapestries. Oh my gosh, there's so much content in these packs, like vampires especially, that go so well with the Realm of Magic pack, actually. Especially when you think about the occult system, like the life states. 
not life stages, but life states, the occults of the vampires, which are the only ones I've current actually no. They're not the only ones I've currently got in the game because I have get to work with the aliens. Um, I don't actually have mermaids yet because I don't have island living. I don't have pets at the moment at this time of recording. By the time I upload the video, I probably will do. I'm waiting for my wages to come through this month, which will probably be tomorrow. And then a lot of that will be bye bye. <laughs> a lot, it'll be bye bye to a lot of that when I get my custom bundle, including cats and dogs, laundry day stuff, and jungle adventure. Slowly building up my collection. Which is actually quite big when you consider the fact that I have Sims 4, 3 and 2. So <laughs> you could say I'm obsessed. And I do play all three actually. I haven't played as much Sims 2 as I have Sims 3 or 4. And I don't know what's going on here with this pause. It says it's paused on my... Oh, there we go. It was probably one of the moments where I was cutting stuff. And again... It might play a little bit more smoothly, actually, in the upload, but... For me, what I can see on screen, it pauses occasionally, probably from where I'm talking to my housemates or something during the recording process. Or I'm paused because I'm thinking, what do I do here? So... Yes. Loving this panelling, actually. It's probably my go-to every time I do something vampires related. <laughs> I love that, pa especially in that dark wood. That panelling is my go-to. And that, like, that wood flooring, like, with the fan kind of triangle shaping. The triangle shapes. Very nice. I was actually inspired by that flooring tile for one of the designs I did in my course last year, actually, the digital stuff. When we were doing scarf designs, I was inspired by that floor tile. <laughs> and then I also used Sims as the research for our final unit and then had my colour palette as the emotions. That was quite fun. And... I've had to restrain myself actually from like mentioning it too much in my visual culture lessons this time because I've chosen the specialism of cult, taste and collecting and for all you people out there that don't study fashion and textiles design or even study at Portsmouth University um, because that's what I study like it's basically the equivalent of art history but a lot more kind of in depth or actually I don't want to say in depth it's a bit more broad actually I'd say I'd say it's more broad and <laughs> we talk about lots of things like semiotics and like analyzing the image so it's not just your basic typical art history it's encompassing like everything so we've for instance last year we spoke about we, we kind of touched a bit on I suppose, the one the, the option I've specialised in when it came to one of the lectures where we, they were talking about fandoms. But, yeah, that's how crazy it can get, really. It's definitely something that I was looking forward to this year. And even though I've only had one lecture and one seminar of this term so far. I've already worked out what I'm going to write about for my essay, for the, for the submission, purely based on my favourite artist. Um, she is who I'm going to be writing about, Aurora, actually. And this is a Sims reference, because actually, I found out about her through Sims Wall, to be fair, because she re-recorded her song, Under the Water, to be included in the Vampires game pack. And that is how I found out about her. And she's become my favourite artist because, oh my, she is such a wholesome human being and she is so nice. Her songs, like all of her songs are amazing. I can't pick, really, I can't really pick a favourite. 
But to be fair, if I had to, it would be Conqueror from her first album, because it's such a nice song. But even then, her newest stuff as well, like Step 1 and Step 2, which were infections of a different kind and a different kind of human, both of those are amazing. And there's a moth in my room. Don't you dare go in my slipper. Are you going to land? Am I going to have to open my window for you? I haven't had my window open for a while. Why? Why is there a moth in my room? Anyway, speaking of windows, the ones in these kitchen, this kitchen can't be open because they're stained glass with no panes to open. And we are whizzing through this. That floor tile actually is probably one of my favourites for a more traditional style, actually. And I do enjoy, I do enjoy doing this kind of fusion, actually. Like, I've just been on tangent for the past, like, five minutes, I believe talking about Aurora and uni work, etc. But it's good to just ramble occasionally. Like, if you don't like that, you can mute me. <laughs> and just watch this. But I know there might be some people out there, like some of the people I watch, actually say that regardless of what you're doing, you could be having a video on in the background as background noise whilst you're studying or something. So sometimes it's just nice to listen to background noise, even if it's like someone's voice. Like I'm gonna, I'm literally like so comfortable with that being the case if it is the case. But like, what am I doing? This is the dining area. I remember change that table. Spoilers. Um, it's not really much of a spoiler, it happens now. Because um, I was trying to get a lot of get-together stuff in as well, but I get more of that in the lounge, which is the majority of the footage that didn't actually record. Um, that was down to the fact that day I was doing a lot... I did actually... one of the days I did some of my recording this is related, by the way. This is related to the build. Because I was building, trying to record stuff, and it wasn't quite recording certain things. And the lounge must have been one of the things that it didn't record. Ergo, I didn't really notice until, like, towards the end of that 20-minute period I should have been recording for, that the game bar wasn't there. And, my goodness. Windows 10... Can, can I just say it's definitely not the... I won't... I don't want to say it's the worst, but it's also not a very good operating system when, when it comes to, like, a track record. Like, I haven't had a very good track record, track record with it, purely because, like, I've had, like, issues where things have gone wrong, my computer's gone a bit slower occasionally, and... The majority of the time it happens when my computer needs updating. And this was one of those times. Needed to have a system update. And normally I procrastinate on these things. And I'm like, no, I don't want to update you yet. You'll have to wait for me. But this was a time I couldn't wait because I was thinking it's probably down to that. That the game bar is not wanting to work for me. Because it just kept cutting off before I was, like, ready. Or, like, one of the moments it cut off, I was like, I don't want you to cut off. Like, I had to record one thing in, like, several parts because it just kept cutting off on me. And, oh, yeah, here we go. We're, like, changing this top bit to the Tudor style the coloration of those windows. I love this. This is such a nice mix, actually. We've got the brick, the Tudor style panelling, and then just the modern section. I just love the contrast between all of those styles. But, like, it actually, this, this part of the recording was quite, quite good, actually. It was when I was going past Like, when we got to the next floor up, actually, that's when we started complaining. <laughs> I'm just going to outright say it was complaining. Um, 
It wasn't being very nice to me. It was just, it was having a, it was having a moment. My laptop was having a moment, which matches me as the me as its owner, because I have moments all the time. My 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 entire life is just one big moment. Sometimes I feel, I feel like my my whole life is one big moment. Sometimes, um, but. It just, it obviously detected it needed an update, and instead of, like, notifying me and coming out of my game, even though that would have probably made the game bar glitch out a little bit as well, it decided, no, I'm going to notify him in a different way, so it's subtle but annoying, <laughs> and it definitely was annoying to find that most of my, like, not most of my footage, but a lot of my footage from that particular day had either not been recorded or not fully recorded. And, oh my god, I can't even, I can't even, like, express how stressful that was. Because it was so... I was trying to get stuff done, I kept noticing it was in the corner, I was like, excuse you, how dare you, I'm trying to record, can you stay please? And I was just not in the mood for it. Like, we're practically done on the ground floor part of this main like living area already and I've not even been talking about it. Like, that is how much... I feel, that is how strongly I feel about my game bar not working. And, oh, actually, you miss out on seeing the floor pattern. Like, as in, like, the process I went through on the upstairs, because I combine that, my, my literally my favourite flooring tile, in wooden flooring. And that's even with City Living's reflective flooring. You probably just actually, we just literally just missed me replacing one of the cabinets. And that's something I had to deal with in this build. Not related to the game bar at all. Related to move objects. Things like to delete themselves occasionally, and that cabinet was one of them. I want to say the stairs. <laughs> one of the stairs. That's a fun story, actually. That's something we'll notice at some point, probably. But I had to replace them after noticing that the fencing had gone through the wall in a random place, nowhere near I'd originally put the fencing, like that, I don't know whether that's going to be in this part or the next part, it's probably in the next part because the next part is where I'm doing all of the landscaping, so it's probably in the next part, but I had to replace the stairs, like the only one set of them there actually, like the one nearest to the entrance but, oh my gosh, and then this wallpaper, because it's not classed as a room on the interior for some reason. Even though I think, no, that would have been the bit that was after like, the floor segment. So this is the part, actually, we end up going through. I think this is probably... No, it's not. It's not this bit. Uh, this is where I'm doing the roofing and I actually cut out a bit of a pause because oh my goodness I keep forgetting how you access the advanced roofing tools so I'm like I've actually like googled it several times I think I probably googled I think I've probably looked it up twice during this build because I did it here and then I did it like I was planning on doing it upstairs with the skylights <laughs> spoiler um but I decided to keep them as they were, and oh my gosh, this roof is gorgeous. I love how this turned out, especially with all the dormer windows I end up putting in. And the curvature on this is so smooth. It pleases me to no end. Especially those bits, because I want its buyers to kind of... Again, linking to the Natural History Museum inspiration. Because um, I was originally going to have, like, modular kind of columns where you'd just make an empty room as a column, basically, around the edge. 
but it was going to be like an L-shaped one. You know, like those L-shaped Lego pieces. <laughs> Bit of an obscure reference and childish reference, but hey-ho, Sims is kind of like Lego for the computer. <laughs> no, I feel like Minecraft is more like that, but we don't talk about Minecraft because I don't play it. But Sims is kind of similar because you have these windows, you build... It's so nice, I could make so many different comparisons to that, to The Sims, actually, because I do, like, have... I do have experience using CAD software, like computer software, like Google SketchUp, for making... Well, I've only done it once from scratch, and that was for a project in school. In sixth form, actually, that was in sixth form. Here we go, one of the skylights, actually, as well. And, my goodness, I like these glass roofs. I don't use them enough. And in part two, you will see something quite clever, actually, in the extension. I won't spoil it. I will just say that something happens, which it could possibly include roofing of the glass variety. Um, but, yeah, definitely something to look forward to. And this was... Oh my gosh, I don't like the fact that this didn't auto-detect as a room. Which, I actually don't enjoy that. Like, sometimes when you're doing it as rooms, they don't quite connect, connect to each other in a way. And that was one of those times. I don't know why, it's just it can be a bit funky in Sims 4. This is the other glass roof I was on about with the skylights, they're going into the lounge and that's where I was going to try and do it curved, I was like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not happening. Um, I had to replace the freeze because I forgot about the open bit there, of where the staircase is going up to the master suite level, which doesn't have a floor plan as of yet, it looks very square at the moment. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. I've had a bit of a long day. Oh my gosh, I had a long day yesterday working at the pre-loved kilo sale um, at the Emmy, and oh my goodness, 6am alarm yesterday morning after we... Actually, we did. I didn't end up going to bed as late as I expected, actually, on Friday night, because my group played Dungeons and Dragons and I'm just thinking now well, are we going to see some of the lounge or not? I don't think we are. We might see snippets occasionally. You'll put you probably will see snip see snippets towards the end when we're doing the bathroom, but other than that, I don't think we do. But like I've had a busy day today as well. I met with a friend and we went to another vintage kilo sale. Um, well, to, I got overcharged actually because they it was supposed to be fifteen pound per kilo, and they worked it out to they weighed it at as one point eight kilos, which would have been, which should have been twenty seven pounds plus the 5p bag, so it would have been £27.5, but I got charged £35, as if to say I'd weighed in 2 kilos, like, just over 2 kilos. It would That would have probably been, like, 2.3 something, 2.333 or something like that, 2.3-ish kilos. So... Yeah, and um, it wasn't until after, oh, because actually it was very badly organised, there was no signage inside to confirm that it was £15 a kilo. And the route me and my friend took, there were no advertising signs on the route that said this either. So we didn't see any, any sort of advertising that confirmed that it was £15 a kilo until afterwards. And we couldn't really go back in and say, look, we've been overcharged, I've just paid by card, can I have, like, the difference back, please? Or at least be able to pick something up for free when I was actually being quite cautious as to what I went for. 
However, I could have just easily said, can I just pick up a fur coat or something? Um, but I might have to try and get there earlier next time, actually, because they're bound to come back down to Portsmouth at some point. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye out on Facebook for when the event comes back down, pay my entry fee, or actually, like, if they get in touch with me, after I do my Facebook post, actually on the page, the event page about the overcharging situation. Um, because what I think has been done is they either, the person that chart like served me, probably, oh, here's a little bit of a lo lounge footage actually, but the person that served me probably either worked out so the fur piece I had found was done separately. <gasps> oh, we get to see the flooring actually. Yes, we don't miss this. I'm so happy about this. Um, so interjecting that story, um, this flooring, oh my gosh, is so fun combining it. So these, my favourite wooden floor tiles in the game, or in vampires. Oh, there's the cut. Um, the, um, border I did with them. I was inspired by Josh from Into the Simulation with his Plymouth Isle builds for The Sims 3, where he has done borders around with some of the more decorative tiles, um, having things like the square one in the corner and then like the chain ones that, you, that you've seen in the game before sometimes. Um, if you know The Sims 3, you'll know which ones I'm talking about. But that was where that inspiration came from. Now, back to my Kilo story, because I'm actually a little bit annoyed at this again. Um, I'm annoyed that I didn't notice before, but it was £15 per kilo. So what I believe has happened is either the fur thing was... The faux fur thing was charged for separately, even though it was in the bag and probably would have contributed towards the 1.8 kilo weight. Um, unless you just unless the cashier presumed that that came to like a kilo on its own, even though it was very light, and I probably wouldn't have put it in the bag if it wasn't. I wouldn't have even picked it up if it wasn't light, because it was lighter than something I managed to find yesterday during pre love kilo. So which would have definitely made it like almost a kilo um, on its own because that was denim, <laughs> quite a nice thick denim cargo trouser in camouflage no less. Um, or she mistook the leather jacket I already had with me as from there but she didn't say anything about that. So I have no idea what's going on there. I've been charged for an extra half a kilo that I did not have for some reason and that concerns me that definitely concerns me she didn't act the cashier didn't actually speak very much actually she just said do you want to put it in the box to wear it and then when it came to wearing it she was like right 1.8 kilo talking to herself like or talking quite low voice and then said cash or card and I paid by card because I only had like didn't really have enough money in my wallet at the time so I was like I'll have to pay if it's over a certain amount by card and so I knew it would probably come to that especially when she said it was 1.8 kilos I was like yeah I'm gonna have to pay by card um but then she charged me for two and a third kilos and instead of the 1.8 that she'd worked it out to be when weighing. So I don't know what happened there, because accessories aren't included within the kilo. But I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, we can see me decorating a very fancy bathroom. Um. This is one of the one of those rooms where your eyes wouldn't know where to look first, basically, because we've got the tiling on the floor, which is the very nice fancy pool tiling from Get Together. Then there's all of the gold fixtures. My goodness, 
I think I've just found my favourite bathroom swatch in Net Vampires. <laughs> no less because of the sheer fabric on that curtain as well. I was like, ooh, I didn't notice that. I literally, I actually turned round to one of my housemates and showed them the sheer fabric of that curtain and actually showed them the black version as well, I believe, because I was like so excited by it. I like, I really love sheer fabric. Um, but this is quite a funky bathroom. I was taking the red out of the tiles, actually, for the curtains, and you just saw, saw a flash of the hallway there where I was trying to work out the... Uh, I was trying to work out what end table would fit in there because I was going to do the ottoman and then decided I'll do that in the bedroom. Well, that never actually happens. Well, I kind of try it and then it doesn't stay. It gets replaced by a sofa. Um, I use the same kind of chaise thing as I do downstairs, but in a different colour. Different colourway in the bar bedroom and it's not at the bottom of the bed. But the actual, the bedroom space is very large. I didn't really know what to do with it. I had a rough idea, but just like, what am I going to do with this space? And of course, you can see there, there's a plant in the corner occasionally. I'm just, I just follow a rule of like, if in doubt, if in doubt about that corner, stick a plant in there. But we are less than half a minute away from the, well, around half a minute away from the end of the video, so... I am going to stop talking and let you enjoy the rest of this footage as is. See you in part two.